Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined by Matt DeBobney. He is the newest member of the California State Assembly. Congratulations. Brad, thank you so much. I've known you for a long time. Very proud, very excited for you. Most importantly, how are you? How is your new job? You know, Brad, it's a, yeah. it doesn't really even feel like a job. It really is an honor and a privilege mm -hmm. to represent the West San Fernando Valley in the State Assembly. Um, you know, I get to wake up every morning and uh, work on behalf of uh, my constituents to make uh, our community and our state a better place. I, I got to ask you, you worked for Congressman Brad Sherman, and so you were well known in the Valley as his yeah. district director. But it's a different position yeah. now. I mean, now you're the guy. Well, and so how does that feel? You know, it was a... Uh, Truly an honor to work for Congressman Sherman right. and represent him for so many years in my home. You know, I'm a fourth generation value I resident. I do, uh, yes. And uh, to be able to now take what I learned from Congressman Sherman's office and apply that in our state capitol uh, to work on budget issues, to work right. on transportation issues, infrastructure issues, uh, to work on an issue like the film tax credit, something right. he's been advocating for for a long time, is uh, it's really was great preparation. Well, let's go there. Film tax credit, a lot of mm -hmm. frustration, a lot of fear mm -hmm. amongst Angelinos about the runaway production, yeah. which is true and bona fide and verifiable. But yet there's a sense that, you know, should Hollywood be given yeah. some type of corporate welfare yeah. plan? Well, you hit the nail on the head, yeah. and, and truly, uh, it's the biggest economic issue I'm gonna be working on this year. I really think it's the biggest economic issue uh, our body's going to be working on this year. Uh, and I don't look at this as a Southern California issue, an LA issue, or even a Valley issue. I look at this as a Californian issue. Uh, so I'm very proud that I'm a original co-author uh, with two of my great colleagues and friends, mm -hmm. and, and really a, a broad coalition within the assembly, but uh, Assembly members Gatto and Boca Negra mm -hmm. have uh, been authored to put right. forward AB 1839. And they represent portions of yeah. the valley, the, the greater valley Assembly as Rambado well. Assembly has the Burbank, right. Glendale, Hollywood area, Assembly River, Boca Negra, mm -hmm. uh, the Northeast Valley, I'm in the West Valley. and uh, But you know, here's I'm, the question, if I may ask. Sure, you can convince Mr. Gatto to join you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Boca Negra yeah. to join you, but what about folks like Brian Dolly, yeah. who represents North State, great guy, but doesn't have a real well, connection to Hollywood. I was very fortunate to be included by Assembly Rivers Gatto and Boca Negra and a, a number of others. And I think our goal is to make sure people know this is a Californian issue. Obviously, here in the Valley, we're being hurt very bad by runaway production. But I tell people this is not corporate welfare. This doesn't benefit necessarily the studios or the big actors or actresses or the Hollywood moguls, per se. They're going to make their money, and that revenue is going to come in, whether they're in Georgia, New Mexico, right. Florida, Utah, or Los Angeles. Right. But this bill, what it does is really benefits the local dry cleaners, the restaurants, the caterers, the makeup artists the working actors and actresses who aren't going to travel to production sets out of state. This benefits our whole economy, has ripple effects. And so one of the things that was really smart by our authors, there's a 5% additional incentive for production outside of LA County. Why couldn't Walking Dead be shot in Fresno or San Diego instead of Georgia? Why couldn't a Breaking Bad stayed in uh, Bakersfield or Santa Clarita instead of having to go to New Mexico? You know, we have a $100 million film tax credit that does about 30 projects a year. But that's low it's compared very low. to our sister states. Once the projects come out and those 30 slots are filled, these states like Utah, New Mexico, and New York, which has a $420 million tax credit, get on the phone, they call these production managers, they say, we have this tax credit available, come to our state. And across the board, we're losing production in all sectors of our economy. So in so, our final moments, do you feel as if something will get out of the House, get out of the Senate, into the governor? I'm very very confident that we're going to get a bill out of the assembly. I have great faith in our friends and colleagues in the Senate. They'll, they'll get something out and it'll be all our job to make sure the governor signs it because this is really, to me, the most paramount economic issue for our valley and for our state. His name is Matt DeBobney, member of the California State Assembly. My name is Brad Palmer. Thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.